Oh, kids with disabilities are the same as any kids, that they need love as much as, you know, the, any kid. In, in fact, they've got more that love to give you sometime because they, they're not judgmental. They take things as it, it comes. There's no difference between the kids I've got, my own kids or your kids. And until you try it, you'll never feel what I feel. Give it a go. If we were younger and that, and we could take on another one, I would gladly. These children are just so special. They're just, just gorgeous. Yeah, they just give so much back in their own little ways. Mm. Look at that smile. Yeah, now, beautiful smile. Yeah, how could you not love that smile? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I would strongly recommend fostering um, a child with a disability. But as long as you have flexible lifestyle, it, it will work. But if you're in a rigid nine to five job and you can't get away to take a phone call on, or go to a doctor, it won't work. Someone's always there at the end of the phone and it's why it's a lot easier actually doing fostering than it is parenting because it's your, who do you go to, your parents or friends? Here you have access to psychologists and so they concentrate on you as much as they do the child. Respite is great for anybody to try because it's a weekend. What can go wrong really in a weekend? I've always been a believer on being glad I did person, not a wish I had. You know, it's no sense getting to 90 and thinking I wish I had done that in 50s or 60s. Please, for you know, people who are in their 20s and 30s, you know, think about this because you can give the youth, you can give so much more. What's a disability? It's just that Matthew's different. My oldest Matthew's different. I'm different. It's like looking after your normal children, your own children. That's not easy work either, that's hard work, but we all do it. To do it and take care of another child that belongs to someone else, and for that child to call you mum and dad, works. <laughs>